All right, Coach, we're here at uh, Eastern Kentucky Athletics Media Day. You guys just wrapped up your team camp. From a coach's perspective, we've heard from both of the kids. From a coach's standpoint, uh, how did team camp go for you all overall as a team? Uh, it was really one of our better team camps. Um, you, you know, I think everybody was really focused. Uh, you know, uh, they, they're going to have fun. You know, they're all staying in a gym. It's like a big week-long sleepover for them. Uh, but when it was time to either watch film or practice or walk through, uh, you know, it was all business and uh, felt like we got a lot better. Ethan said you guys had some good food there. What were you guys cooking up there at team camp? Well, I mean, it's whatever the parents can bring in. I mean, my goodness, we, we had a little bit of everything. Uh, they had a buffet uh, pretty much all all. All three meals. Some days breakfast was light with a sandwich, uh, but you know if you leave it up, if you leave it up to the mommies, they're going to eat good. Uh, so we're really we're really fortunate that uh, we we have a bunch of really good parents, um, you know, within our program, and they made sure the boys were fed really well. You've really set the standard there at West Carter. I know you guys had a rough year this or last yeah, this past year, but how do you guys sort of bounce back from that, moving into a new district? Uh, how are you just feeling overall about the team, how they look uh, after team camp going into fall practice? Uh, you, you, you know, these these guys had to had to learn uh, about varsity football. They kind of all got thrown in uh, to the Wolves last year. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of the players that played for us last year are back. They're just all, um, you, you know, uh, I've always heard for, for how many, if you start, for every freshman you start, you know, you get a loss. And uh, we lost nine games and we started about nine freshmen, you know, in various positions, offense, defense, special teams. Uh, so, you know, it's a learning experience. Um, you know, we, we'll cycle through. Uh, we're one of the smallest schools in the area that have football. Um, so, you know, there's going to be years when we're young. Uh, but these, these kids have embraced it. I think, I think they knew, um, you, you know, as the season went on, that, that we were getting better, even if you couldn't always see it in the win column. Uh, but I, I've been really pre pleased with their progress. They're really focused on, on having a good season and, and kind of getting West Carter back to where we've been in the past. As a coach, sort of a philosophical question, how, how much weight does it take off your shoulders, you know, having returning experience? Mm -hmm. how, how much does that play into, you know, being able to have, win games ultimately? Yeah, uh, it's a lot. I know, I know we've all, you know, coach staffs all feel a lot better uh, this year than we did last year, knowing how much inexperience we were going to play with. And, uh, you know, not, I'm not saying that in a, in a bad way. We, our kids gave great effort. We had, uh, you know, we had several uh, very tragic things that happened, you know, at our, at our school and within our program last year. Uh, it's just uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're playing with 14 and 15 year olds at most positions, uh, you're going to have some struggles. So that's not to, to take away from anything anybody did last year. It's just, you know, the reality is we had kids that would normally uh, be, you know, maybe backups or, or doing really well on JV and uh, they were having to play varsity. So it's a, it's a learning experience for all of them, but we're really excited. Baptism by fire, they say. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's uh, a lot of area coaches I'm friends with are like, well, that, you'll like it when they're <laughs> when they're juniors and seniors. Uh, so, uh, you know, they've just stayed with it. You know, it says a lot about about these kids. Absolutely. Uh, because whenever you you grow up and you see, you know, West Carter in a regional championship or playing in a semifinal, and then uh, you know, whenever it's your turn and, and it's not, it doesn't work out like that. You know, your first year, you know, as a starter, that can be really disheartening. But these kids have. Been, uh, they've been great. They've lifted well in the off season. They practice well, and uh, they're really competitive. New district for you guys uh, coming up. So, what can you tell us about that? I know you've been hard at work preparing for the season. So, yeah. what can you tell us about your opponents in the new district? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, the majority of them we were going to play anyway. Um, you, you know, uh, East. The way we look at it, our long-term rivals at West have always been East Carter and Lewis County and Fleming County. And uh, if we would have been in 2A uh, again this year, we, we were still planning on playing them. Uh, you know, we've played Russell every year for about 30 years. Uh, so, you know, they've always been on our schedule. Bath has always been on our schedule. Uh, so as far as, you know, district play, you know, you know we're playing for stakes now, uh, but we are used to playing these teams. Uh, you know, our, our non-district is where we're, we're not hardly playing anybody that we've played, you know, recently. We've got Round County, which is a close game for us. Uh, but then we, uh, we travel a little bit and some teams travel to us. Biggest key to success for the Comets this year, what is it, Coach? Uh, I, I think it's continuing to, uh, to, to build, uh, you know, that sense of brotherhood and, 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 and being a team. 
and uh, these guys have really, really embraced that. You know, uh, you, you know, they're they're kids, and, and whenever you have a bunch of them together, there's always somebody, you know. Uh, somebody that run their mouth or whatever that's what we tell them we said listen you guys are going to get on each other's nerves uh but you you have to have each other's back uh if 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 this guy is annoying you or, or whatever he's still our brother uh so as long as we continue to do that i think we'll have a really good season anything else you want to say uh go comments <laughs>